Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and this is what I'm going to call a bulkhead week. Animated bulkhead week. I know I previously said, for anybody who was paying attention, that I was going to do Sentinel Prime uh, from Transformers Animated today. But I'm changing things up just a little bit because, like I said, I want to do a bulkhead week, and what better way to kick off bulkhead week with this guy. This is the Voyager class animated bulkhead. How does he stack up in the modern era? There have been a lot of bulkheads since then. Transformers Prime, the first edition, the legacy one. How good is this guy still? We're gonna find out together in the latest Got By True review. One hail, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gapot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe. And while you're at it, light up my baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton and lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that's in the description down below. Also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course, Hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. And this is Voyage, um, yeah, Voyager class bulkhead. Now he is a little short for a Voyager, even for the era that he came out. But it's because there's so much mass and pieces and well bulk in his body. Giving up the height for the more rotund body is definitely animation accurate. But was it the right call for the figure overall? We're gonna find out together when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And so we kick off Animated Bulkhead Week, I guess that's the best thing to call this, with Voyager Class Animated Bulkhead, courtesy of our good friend Maximal 10. Not for nothing, we will look at the Leader Class offering a little later in the week. But the Voyager one, pretty good. Seems a bit stubby and stocky for a Voyager. However, it's got a lot of bulk and mass in the body itself, and always did. That being said, if you're looking for scale accuracy, I think the leader class one is definitely more scale accurate. Um, this guy rolls like a champion. I really do like the bronze kind of down on the tires here. That paint is great. This is fine. I don't really like this up here, but I mean, what are you going to do really, you know? Uh, he doesn't really come with anything other than he comes with this bio sheet. And I mean, honestly, the bio is different than the one on the leader class offering. But it basically explains like he's a bit of a clumsy klutz and how he likes to build things and how he's strong and blah 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 bulkhead stuff. And we can turn it around and we have instructions here. They're okay for what they are. Since bulkhead comes in package like this, I guess we'll do the transformation from here and we're going to begin by picking those down. By the way, if you pick them down like off down here, I'm going to see if I can do this now. Actually, I guess I should probably split this next. There we go. Bring that down on the side and fold these in. Then I should be able to, they say, there you go. Yeah, pull those down and they automorph out. There's two little black tabs here and if you pull these down, there's a little hinge back here that you really sort of have to pull it out on for transformation later anyway. But if you do that and these retract, these will automatically pop out. If you don't do that, you can still bring these out to the front later yourself anyway. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, let's see, uh, I guess next we will bring down his feet and then this tire on a weird almost 45 degree angle folds back to become his heels and like that's him stood up. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit because we know that his body is going to come together now. There you go. That should give us a little more room to kind of work um, up top here, I suppose. So, where do I want to go next? Uh, I got those legs down. I folded the tires back on like a 45-ish degree angle. Um, I guess... Yeah, I guess I'll push the body in. The body's on like a hinge back here and if you push the body in then his head automorphs up so the arms automorph out and you still have to snap them into place but the arms automorph out and the head automorphs up this comes up over the back and snaps in and then these will separate again these back here that's the ones you got to kind of pick off and pick off that's what makes the arms pop out by themselves and boom, in the end, here we have Bulkhead 
in his robot mode. Love the transformation here. I'm going to give it a 10. I think it's fantastic with two automorph features that just make it seem like the guy almost seamlessly does it on his own. Like that. In terms of gimmicks, the guy got two. One is cool, one is weird. Um, but I guess we'll do both of those. So a 10 is an excellent, excellent start. Let's do the couple of gimmicks and then we'll talk about his coloration and his articulation. Okay, so the first gimmick on this arm is this button here. It, apparently this is supposed to be a power punch of sorts, but when you hit it, all it does is bend his elbow. Elbow down, elbow up. I, it's a weird, it's, it's a weird gimmick. This one over here has a little hidden lever right here. And if you, there you go. If you pull on the little hidden lever, then you get his, um, uh, I don't know what you call this, his, his ball and string, ball and chain, uh, mace thing. The legacy version has kind of a similar sort of thing, but it's not attached unless you get an upgrade kit, which I do have, and that's attached by a chain. Um, but that one has a ball, of course, a wrecking ball that'll go over his hand, right? Because that one's more, that one's a bit of a hodgepodge between animated and prime, I find. Uh, now, let's talk about the look of this guy, I guess. Let's, let's, let's start giving him those scores. Starting from the feet, working our way up the body. Remember, animation accuracy. So we... Do not seem to have the black, oh, we might have the black on the toes he's supposed to have. Then we have the green on his legs. We have the black up around his boot, which he's supposed to have. Uh, this guy has kind of a bronzy thigh rather than a gray or silver thigh, but he also has the bronze on his bicep and here on his hands, and I don't mind it. It's all supposed to be kind of a grayish color, I guess, but I'm okay with the bronze. I think it ties in with the green nicely. Um, on his body, the bronze, the black, and the yellow lights all accurate. We have the black detail going right here with the green above and below it. The Autobot symbol shouldn't be silver. It should be red. Uh, we do on his shoulders have the uh, stars. He's not supposed to have the stars showing here on his arms, but if you rotate his arms, then you don't see him, I guess. Uh, these up over his shoulders, they're fine. Unfortunately, unlike the leader class version, you can't really uh, give this guy like his chair, like his backpack can't go reconfigured to become his chair. You could probably do some sort of a fan version of it, but officially it, it really doesn't do it. I mean, I don't know. Mm, no, I don't, I don't think the hinges move for you to be able to do that. A little bit of a bummer there, but not a big deal. Love the blue on his eyes. Um, uh, let's see, he was getting a 10 for transformation for the look. It's pretty darn close. It really, really is. I'm going to give it a nine and a half, honestly. Let's do the articulation. A 10 and nine and a half. The guy's getting a 9.75. Uh, the, these pieces, they can kind of move up and down, I guess. The head goes left and right. A little up and down wiggle. The uh, shoulders can go all the way around. Uh, way up like that. Um, we have an elbow to 90 degrees, bicep swivel. The claw fingers, I guess, can open and close on both hands. No waste. Little bit of a bummer there. Um, leg forward, not a ton. Um, leg back, I'll, 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 as far as you want it to go. He can do like full splits, uh, thigh swivel, no ankle tilt. We do have a knee to 90 degrees. So the forward kick is slightly limited, but honestly, a waist would be nice. Other than that, I don't think this guy's that bad. I really, really, really don't. Um, what am I going to say for his articulation? I wish the thigh was a little longer, but it's the animated aesthetic. Oh man, it's tough. I think I'm going to say he was getting a 9.75. I think I'm going to say the articulation is 8.75. I'd really like a waist and I wish he could, could kick forward a little bit more, which means an 8.75, a 9.75. I'm going to say overall this version of Bulkhead stands firm at about a 9.25. This is a lot of years later. We're closing in, man, on you know, somewhere, somewhere between 15 and 20 years since this guy came out, and he still stands up so very, very well. What a testament to how well animated was accomplished. And here we are once again, and here he is. So, I think that he looks very close to the animation, as he should. Not perfect, but really close. For example, he shouldn't have the stars here on his forearms. Um, 
The articulation is pretty darn good for the most part, except for the forward kick. I wish that that was a little bit better than what it is. Ratcheted knee seems weird for legs that are this small. I love, one of my favorite pieces of transform Transformers engineering ever is the way that this falls down to be his heel and comes up on the side again. I um, think that's brilliant. But he looks good. Easy, interesting, fun transformation. And the articulation is mostly okay, with the caveat that the legs are, you know, I get that it's animation accurate, but maybe the legs should have been done a little longer just to give them a little more mobility. Um, I also wish that the beigey color, I suppose, was a little more gray, and I really don't understand the point of that gimmick on the arm. A shame he can't do the chair mode, but not a deal breaker. This is, was, and probably ever will be, a fantastic representation of Bulkhead. And not for nothing, I know that since we mentioned the Legacy. I know that the Legacy here is really intended to be Transformers Prime Bulkhead, but I feel like the overall bulk and look of the body matches this iteration of Bulkhead a little bit better. How do we know that this one is intended to be Transformers Prime instead of animated? Look at the lower jaw of the heads. The lower jaw of a Prime Bulkhead head has silver. The lower jaw of animated is a little kind of toothy, I suppose you would say, and green. That's really the main way you know the difference. That said, this guy is still an excellent bulkhead. Yeah, it's showing its age a little bit, no waist, you know, no ankle tilt. It's not perfect, but it's still fun and still very functional. Let me know what you think about animated uh, Voyager class bulkhead. I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out at Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring or course hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member while you're at it. Hit the subscribe button, man. Stick around. Have some fun with us here on the channel. And don't forget, please and thank you, not for a second, not for a moment, that you right there, you do make a difference in the world each and every single day, whether you know it or not. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights, at the stop motion premieres, or the old-fashioned way, right here, inside the videos.